guys welcome to CAD Academy so this is the tutorial of stapler design and as you know we have already designed three parts of our stapler as you can see these are the three parts now in this tutorial we are going to design the mechanism which places the pin to this surface so for that let's start with mechanical design and generative sheet metal design now you can just rename your part over here I will rename this by part 4 and then click on OK now again we need to provide the sheet metal parameters so these are already defined and uh, you to know that so select the sketch icon and uh, select this plane the xy plane and make a rectangle over here and provide the constraints So this is basically 4.5 This is 9 mm as well as this is 38 mm So you can click here on exit and click here on wall command and then ok Ok now select the cutout command over here and just select this sketch icon and make a sketch over here Make a rectangle Select the rectangle command and make a rectangle and assign the dimensions So this will be 28mm Ok As well as this will coincide with this also the distance from here to here is 0.5 mm now select whole of the sketch and click here on mirror command and just mirror this along the axis now you can click here on exit command and click here on preview and then ok now select the flange command over here and then select to relimited. Now we need to make a sketch over here so for that select the create plane command and make the sketch at 2 mm apart. Click here on preview. Click here on ok and again create Select this plane and provide the value of 0 mm. Okay, now select the spline. Now select uh, this option from the base and assign the value of 4 mm and click it on enter. As you can see, this has been made. Again, we need to provide we need to provide the flange at rather end so again select this end and again create a plane over here and for that again select this plane and make a offset of 2 mm and then click here on ok again select this limit to plane and create the plane select this and provide the offset of 0 mm and click here on ok ok so click here on ok and if you can see this has been made ok now select the extrusion command over here and for that select this sketch icon and select this plane now we need to make an extrusion over here so for that make a line of 1 mm from this edge and then click here on exit ok now reduce the value ok so first limit is 6 mm and then second limit is minus 4 mm click here on ok now do this and rather, rather side to select 
uh, the extrusion command over here select the profile and then select this plane again go to hidden menu and select this line click here on project and then select this line and mirror this about this plane now you can delete this line too as well as as well as delete this line and then click here on exit click here on invert material side and click here on ok that's it now we need to make a cutout over here so for that again select this cutout command and select the sketch icon and select this surface now make a rectangle here of 4 by 5 mm select the constraint icon provide the dimension to each edge so this is 5 mm this is 4 mm as well as this is 2 mm now you can click here on exit and then ok now select the flange command over here and make the flange before that select to the basic the flange of 4 mm and click here on ok now again select this edge and make the flange in reverse direction of 4 mm that's it again select the extrusion command over here and again select this profile click here on normal view and select the line command over here make a line of 5 mm and coincide this point to this click here on exit That's it. So I have made the extrusion at both sides. Now select the flange command and we will make a flange over here. So for that again select this to limited, re-limited. Now select the limit one and click here on create plane. Now select this plane and make the offset of 3mm. We can click here on preview. So we need to we need this in reverse direction. So click here on reverse direction and again make another plane in limit 2 select this plane and uh, make offset of 3mm in reverse direction now you need to select this plane so for that this is this plane click here on reverse direction and then click here on ok ok Now we need to make a hole over here for that 
in select air on this plane and make a whole air of 3 mm diameter. Make this as 5 mm, sorry for that, and provide the constraint here. This will be 25. Clear on exit and OK. That's it. This is our uh, fourth part. We will see this part and assemble it, it into the stapler. So this is the assembly what we have made in our previous tutorial. You can see if you have not seen that. Now I will manipulate this along this axis. Okay. And now we will insert our next part. Click here on existing component and click here on part 4. So this is our part 4. Now we need to manipulate this. So for that select this part and just drag this in Z direction. Also we need to rotate this along X axis. Now select this contact constraint, just close this and select this edge, this surface as well as this surface and click here on update. Also select the contact constraint over here, select this surface and this surface and then update this. So as you can see the mechanism more has been made you can drag this mechanism in x axis where the pin are assembled and here a spring will be attached to this part okay so in next tutorial we will make the handle which are used by thumb for pressing the stapler and then we will make a pin over here for joining all the assembly and then our tutorial for the stapler will be completed so till then goodbye